Hi there friend, it's Trevia. Did you know that you have a best friend who's with you 24-7, 365 days a year? Well, you do. His name is Holy Spirit and he's part of the Trinity, part of the Godhead, his Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And uh, the Holy Spirit is here to help each one of us. The, Jesus calls him the Comforter. In fact, the word Jesus uses is parakletos, and the, that word is comforter, helper, strengthener, intercessor, leader, guide. He's so many things for us. He's your friend who sticks closer than a brother. He's the one who stands alongside you, the one who helps you to represent God and to represent Christ whenever you do. And he's also the one who teaches you about God and teaches you about Jesus and leads you into all truth. If you ever feel lonely, I want to encourage you to just say, Holy Spirit, I need you. Because the truth is, you, He is right there with you. You can say, I believe you here in Jesus' name. And then just begin to talk to Him. And in fact, do more than just talk to Him. Listen to Him. And I want to encourage you to believe that He's going to speak back to you. What I do is when I hear, I listen for that voice and then I write down what I, what I hear God saying to me. And those words have encouraged me in hard times like nothing else has encouraged me. In fact, it's not only encouraged me in hard times, it's also encouraged me in good times. And when you hear the Holy Spirit, because He actually is there for you, He wants you to have a relationship with Him and not just be kind of religious and just pray a whole bunch of things. He wants a dialogue and not just a monologue. In John 14 verses 15 to 18, Jesus said, If you love me, Keep my commandments and I will pray the Father and he'll give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and he dwells and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. That's what Jesus is saying. He's coming to you through the Holy Spirit. He continues in verse 25 and he says, these things I've spoken to you while being present with you but the helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that i said to you you know that what i did is when i would study whatever i was studying whether it was still uh, whatever i studied what i would do is i would say jesus will you help me as I read this. Will you teach me this? And then when I wrote my exam, I would say, Holy Spirit, will you remind me what Jesus has taught me? And it, it would be just amazing. I would have every answer that I need. He carries on Jesus speaking. Verse 27, he says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And then he continues in John 16, from verse 7, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it's to your advantage that I go away. He was talking to his best friends and he was saying, I'm going to have to go, but it's to your advantage. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And in verse 12, he says, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. And you know, even in your situation, sometimes we're asking God for answers. And he doesn't give us the answers. And very often that's because we can't bear them right now. He'll give you as much as he knows you can bear. And uh, verse 13 says, However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak. And he'll tell you things to come. He'll glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. God the Holy Spirit is your best friend and He wants to help you be all you can be. I want to encourage you to get, him to, know, get to know Him as well as you possibly can. He's going to change your life. Let me pray for you. Father God, I want to thank you for my friends that are listening to me, my brothers and sisters. And I pray, Lord, that you would reveal precious Holy Spirit to them in such a way that they know that He is their best friend, that he's their helper, he's their comforter, he's their strengthener, he's their intercessor, their advocate, whoever, whatever they need for every circumstance, for every situation. I want to thank you, Lord, that Holy Spirit is there to help us. And so, Lord, I pray, guide them, lead them into all truth. And I pray, comfort those who need comfort, help those who need help. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, that you speak and that you listen and that you have a friendship with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a fantastic God-filled day.